hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video today i'm going to show you how to design a wedding jota using adobe photoshop before any further i do let's get started so this is our working area now so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to select the guideline So I'm using a guide layout. What I did is to apply the numbers of the column to and then on the top left bottom margin is 100%. So on the cutter here is 100. Then I'll click OK. So the other one I'm going to do now is to bring the middle then on the edges here. So we are done with this one. So after this one now, I'm going to select a rent angle. And I'm going to draw a rent angle through this place. Then this is the image I'm going to use. Then I'm going to drag this one. Then position it here. And I'm going to scale it this way then drag it back then shift this one up a little all right so having done this one then i'm going to rasterize the image then select your market tool then i will select this place then go to your to select then select modify then expand i'm going to expand it by 10 then go to edit go to content aware fill then click on apply or click ok so you can see that the test over there has been removed then i'm going to draw another rent angle from here then down to this place then i'm going to apply a color from here Then apply your layer mask, select your gradient tool, then I will blend over here like this. So after done this one, then this color is too light. Then I'm going to select somewhere here. Or here is the color code. I'm going to copy it. Ctrl plus C to copy then select here ctrl plus v to paste okay still i'm going to change this color like this is okay all right so having done this one so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to select the name Let me copy this one first. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then go up here. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. And here you can see this is the font I'm using. Then go to your font. Then I'm going to type the font name. So here is the font, increase the size a little, then I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate, now we position it around here, reduce the size, then go back to your tests, I'm going to copy this one. 
select your test tool, highlight it, Ctrl plus V to paste, then reduce the size, something like this. So having done this one now, then I'm going to copy the name, Ctrl plus C to copy, select your test tool, then Ctrl plus V to paste. And I'm going to change the font to Poppins, semi bold. Then I'm going to remove the character spacing. Minus 60 is okay. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Bring this one down. Select your test to Ctrl plus A to alight it. Then I'm going to copy the second name, the Ctrl plus V to paste. Drag it over here. And I'm going to increase the test of this one. Okay. Then select the two, hold your control key, then you click. Now I'm going to reduce the size. Then go back again and select your test tool. Then I'm going to type this word here. Then I'm going to change the font color to red. Also change the fonts to Tuesday nights, something like this. Then rotate it this way, and I'll position it around here. Reduce the size. Then I'm going to duplicate this test, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then I'll drag it up here. Then move it over here. Then go back to copy the name, Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool. And I'm going to paste the name here. Then go back to the test again to copy the second name. Select this one, alight and paste. Then I'm going to select the test, hold your control key. Then I'm going to apply alignment and hold your control key while you click on the name. Then you drag it over here. And I'm going to reduce the size of this one. Something like this. Okay. So now I'm going to select all the name. So what we are going to do now, we are going to Create a clipping mask to the image. Now, you can now select the test, then select this layer, then apply your vertical alignment. So that is it. Okay, then I'm going to bring this ornament. Then reduce the size. Reduce the size like this. Then ensure that it's vertical aligned. Then Ctrl plus U for hue and saturation. Then you drag this one to the white area to change the color to white. 
then I'm going to copy my test. This is the date. Select your test to then control plus V to paste. Reduce the size of the test. Then I'll position it at the center here. Then go back to your character. Then I'm going to increase the test character. So like this. Alright. After this one now and then, the next thing again, I'm going to select a rectangle. Then I'll draw a rectangle over here. Then change the color to red. And I'm going to reduce the opacity of the color. 42 is okay. Then select the test tool. Then Ctrl plus C to copy. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then reduce the font size. Now I will position it here. Reduce the size. Alright, now hold your control key while you click on this rectangle. Then apply vertical and horizontal alignment. Something like this. Okay, so having done this one, I'm going to draw another rent angle again. Something like this. I'm going to select a color from here. Then I will duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Then position this one around here. Select the two. I will reduce the size like this. Then this one, I'm going to make it more light, so something like this. Reduce the opacity. Then I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then I'll drag this one over here. Then I'm going to draw another rectangle. Something like this. Then select this red color. And I'm going to reduce the opacity this way. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then I'll bring this one over here. Then expand the size. Reduce the size. Like this. Then I will use this color here. So something like this. So having done this one like this, so the next one I'm going to do now, then I'm going to duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate, so you drag it over here. Then I'll move it up here. Okay. So having done this one now, then I'm going to select my brush before selecting the brush then i'm going to apply 
a layer mask then select your brush then I'm going to brush this one here like this then the second one apply your layer mask then why I'm going to brush it over here this way so, so this is what we have here all right now we are going to the back cover now so on this back cover you are going to wash it carefully because it has a lot it has a lot to do and you have to wash it very carefully all right so the first one i'm going to do now i'm going to create a rent angle then on this rent angle i'm going to select this color on it now having done this one now i'm going to create an ellipse cycle hold your shift key then to draw a perfect cycle something like this okay now then i'm going to draw another rent angle so this rent angle i'm drawing now i'm using it as a guideline then select the cycle and the rent angle line then apply vertical alignment and horizontal alignment then I'm going to duplicate the rent angle then hold your shift key while you drag it so that it will click on horizontal line alright so having done, done it like this now so the next thing I'm going to do now then I'm going to right starize the cycle so now that I've rasterized it so the next one now I'm going to do then I'm going to select my lasso polygon lasso two. then I'm going to follow the rent angle down to the middle here then I will click on this side then I will now join it together so when I join it together now then right click and I'm going to cut it you can see I'm going to cut this one all right then come back to the main one then select from here again then make sure you are in the center here then you click out then right click then I make a cut so here is the main one so the same thing I'm going to do here then right click and then make a cut okay so on this one now this is the main one so then I'm going to leave this one for now then why I'm going to delete this rent angle so I'm going to leave this one for now so why I will leave it then I'm going to turn it off so the first one is this one and the third one all right so what I'm going to do now I'm going to increase the size of this one like this something like this then turn this one on hold your shift key i'm going to rotate it this way then i'll click ok so you can see that this one i increase the size then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j then double click on it 
apply a color overlay you can see this color then i'll click ok then i will reduce the size of this one like this okay so having done this one this way then this one i'm going to reduce the size this way you can see then i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j then reduce the size this way then i'm going to copy the effects of this one down to this place you can see the color there all right on this one then i'm going to cut this one also again so then i'll select this one then go to my polygon laser tool from the middle here i'm going to select it then i'll cut it from this angle then join it together and i'm going to delete this one ctrl plus d to deselect and why i'm going to reduce the size of this one i'm going to reduce the size this one is going to be little then i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j then i'm going to drag this effect on it then i'm going to reduce the size something like this so the same thing i'm going to do to this one so on this one now i'm going to duplicate it then drag this effect to it now then reduce the size like this so something like this so on this one now you can see this one so i'm going to delete it select my polygon then click from the center here then i'm going to cut it out this way delete then select the first one then you delete so you can see i have a space here now then on this space i'm going to reduce reduce it something like this all right so you can see what we did there now i'm going to to select to select it all then increase the size I'm going to increase the size this way so and the the top one i'm going to select them so to identify the top one this the top one is the one that i apply all those effects on it so i'm going to select all this the top one then right click and i'm going to measure this one together then i'm going to apply this image then come over here then what i will do now i'm going to create a clipping mask on it something like this so all right so this is what i want to do so you can see the outcome of it all right now select this right angle here and i'm going to bring this same image then you scale it out then hold your shift key while we group this one together then i'm going to bring it down a little this way it's okay so having done this one i'm going to rasterize the image then right click and create a clipping mask 
then you reduce the opacity this way so something like this alright so having done it this way so the next one we are going to do now then we are going to bring in our test appreciation control plus c to copy then select your test tool control plus v to paste and i'm going to use the font tuesday night increase the size Now select a rectangle, then draw a rectangle over here. Allow the line to be tiny this way. Then I'm going to use red on it. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then change the color of this one then to white so like this so the next one now i'm going to copy our appreciation test then select your test tool then click somewhere here while you drag i'll drag it to this position then ctrl plus v to paste highlight it then change the font to popping, reduce the test size. Then I'm going to arrange the test in order to something like this. Then create another wrench angle over here like this. Then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Then reduce this one. Something this way. Then drag this one. Reduce the size. Then create a clipping mask something this way increase the size of the barcode now the next one or the last one we are going to do now is something like this which we did here so I'm going to draw a rent angle here Then apply the red color, reduce the opacity. It's okay like this. Now locate this one, then so that we can drag it behind it. Then position this one around here. Then draw another rent angle like this then change the color of this one to this and reduce the opacity then we are going to select the two then ctrl plus j to duplicate it why we bring it down to this position reduce the size of this one then also reduce the size of this one
then on this one increase the size then draw another rectangle then I'll select the color of this one sorry and reduce the opacity something like this then duplicate it like this this one should be darker then why this one should be lighter like this one okay so that is it now i'm going back to this one select your test tool highlight all then make sure that it is justified then i'm going to reduce reduce it over here So that is all in this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you like this video, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my future video. And also remember that I use Fiverr accounts. So if you want to create a Fiverr account, there is a link in the comment section. You can use that link to create your own Fiverr account or in the description section. So you will see the link. And if you want any of my flyer, so then just order any of the flyer you want through my Fiverr account. And I use TubeBody to optimize my video. So you can check in the description then you will see all the link if you want to optimize your video so just go through the link thank you so much for following i really appreciate your staying